Hey guys, Justin Nelson here again with the Icon Podcast and once again coming at you with another 20 to 30 minute episode with another special guest out of California. Krista, welcome to the show. Hi Justin, thanks for having me. I really appreciate it. Glad to be here. Absolutely. And as always, guys, we are interviewing the top 2% of EXP. So Krista, I'm really excited to have you on the show. I've been following you for years. Um, you are you are obviously a queen in the social media world and just business building world of real estate. So I know we were kind of chatting before. I don't know how many of your courses I've taken or different challenges you put out there, but I've taken a lot of them. Uh, <laughs> so it's an honor to be able to have you on here today. So super excited to get to pick your brain a little bit. Thank you. I appreciate it, Justin. Yes, I'm ready to rock. Of course. So for those that don't know, Krista, I've taken a lot of your courses. I, I know quite a bit about you, but I don't know everything. So I would love to kind of, we're going to talk about your journey over to eXp, kind of what that entailed and kind of what the icon, you know, status is going to look like for you. So can we just kind of dive into your background? I'd love for you to tell our audience kind of who you are and, you know, what, what you're up to these days. Yeah, I've been in the business for about 19 years and, um, I've been in the top 1% of agents nationwide for pretty much the whole time. I think one year I only sold 12 houses, but on average I've sold over hundred houses every year. Um, my best year was 169 houses and that was just me and an assistant and a transaction coordinator. Many people will have large teams. That was my team. I was the only licensed agent, you know. Um, now that I'm coaching, I have help and I only spend about 5% of my time on real estate and the other 95% of my time coaching, but we're still doing over, we'll do over hundred transactions this year. Um, just by me being sort of the face of the business. Um, and yeah, it's, it's really great. I love it. <laughs> I love that. I love that. So obviously you're over at eXp now. Um, I honestly didn't know that until probably about a month or two ago. So yeah. what kind of, you know, what kind of led you over to eXp? Like what was kind of you for a lot of people, there's many reasons why they may come over here, but what was kind of the one reason for you initially that you're like, that sounds like a great opportunity for you. Yeah, it's really funny you said I didn't tell anybody until about a month ago. In fact, okay. um, I didn't even announce it. I didn't put it anywhere. Um, I didn't really want to tell anyone that I was at the XP until I 100% believed in it. And to be quite honest, what happened was the reason I joined the XP to begin with was nothing to do with the passive income or recruiting. It was all to do with just getting rid of the liability because I am coaching now so much and not as involved. Um, yeah. I just didn't want to have the liability as a broker. And so I thought, you know, EXP was a great option. Well, about um, six weeks ago, I had two people that I trusted very, very much in my organization, in my coaching sector that kind of pretty much um, behind my back while they were working for me, um, opened up a business competing with mine. And when that wow. happened, it just kind of opened up my eyes to like, wow. I mean, it, it just, it just kind of got to me. So at that point, I made the decision to really look into EXP. And so um, again, this was about six, seven weeks ago. And so I sent, I spent about, two weeks i mean you're talking like 40 50 hours a week just diving into the model i get up at four in the morning and i do it until 12 and then i'd work and then i do it again you know um and i i really fell in love with it and i was like oh my gosh there's so much potential here and so about uh four four weeks ago um maybe it's been five i started recruiting and i've recruited 37 agents in basically in five weeks so basically we've, we've recruited like an agent a day um since i started started recruiting and telling people about it. And so today I thought, you know, not only will I talk about how I'm doing really well in real estate, but give some tips and tricks on how to recruit. Because um, yeah. I know that's a lot, that's really important to a lot of people. I absolutely believe real estate first, uh, but I also see the potential in, you know, creating a passive income. I know very many, most agents don't understand just how important it is. And, you know, you don't, you don't see very many retirement parties, so to speak in real estate. And so it's really, really sad. And I mean, yeah. it's since I've really understood this model and um, just, I'm just loving it. I feel like it's my fiduciary obligation to really, really get people to understand that you can have both. And quite frankly, I believe that uh, myself included will be making more money probably in about 24, 36 months in the recruiting side of it than I even do in the real estate side of it. And, you know, we'll, we'll make over a million dollars this year in the real estate sector. I love that. So the initial reason you came over ended up not honestly being the biggest reason that you're involved in the EXP day to day now from what I hear you say. Yeah. And everyone, you know, well, you're a coach, you know, but it wasn't, it wasn't about attracting business for that reason until I realized, oh my gosh, it's part of my job now to get people to understand just how important this is and how they can do it just by doing what they already love, you know? So, I mean, in the past um, four weeks, I've, you know, read, you know, multiple books multiple times over on, you know, recruiting and building an organization. 
Um, I don't like to say building or downline, but truly, truly believe in building partnerships and organizations. And, you know, for me, teaching somebody how to sell real estate and just dominate their, like, as you said, I'm, I, I specialize in digital marketing and social media. I create funnels. Um, in fact, I've, I've built over $4 million funnels each in less than about 18 months. And so, you know, digital marketing and, and really standing out, attracting business, I call it attract, connect, convert, basically, yep. um, is, is just easy, right? And so it's yep. the exact same thing when it comes to attracting business for other agents. And so, um, again, real estate first, attraction second, but I believe you can do them both hand in hand very easily. I love that. I love that. Well, you just gave me a lot of material to pick your brain on now. So first off, do you have any book suggestions? Because I know a lot of people listening to this, or they might be in that same position of like, we're not recruiting yet, but we're wanting, we want to start doing more of it. So you have any yeah, so uh, building an empire, and I forgot, I forgot the name of the of, is really great. So building an empire, I've got it in my, I've got it here. So building an empire is one that I've read three times um, since I, you know, in the past five weeks. And the other one is GoPro. So building an empire is from Brian Carruthers, and GoPro is from Eric War, and they pretty much um, kind of go hand in hand with what they talk about, and. Uh, you know, very much a lot of the principles that they're doing right now, I'm basically teaching a lot of what I'm learning. I'm going to take it onto a digital platform, if that makes sense. So for example, um, with people that are in my organization, what I have them do is I wrote a book. I'm, not, I'm sure you know, because you said you've been following me. So I wrote, yep. I wrote two best-selling real estate books. One is called um, Sell 100 Homes a Year. And the other one is Three Clients in 30 Days. And we're launching now another book, actually launches September 25th. If you can get a pre-order of it right now. It's called the Ultimate Lead Gen Playbook for Dominating Your Local Profession. So the Ultimate Lead Gen Playbook for Dominating Your Local Profession. It's on sale right now for 99 cents digital copy on Amazon. And so the Love whole it. book is in the, the first book are all about attraction-based marketing. Like how do you actually, you know, so many real estate agents go through the up and down of business and they're still, you know, they, it's so sad because they aren't taught from their brokers how to really, really utilize 21st century strategies in marketing. So they're still doing things like open houses and door knocking and cold calling. And, you know, I know that stuff works really, really well. It's just that I personally, make sure dog's okay. I personally um, choose to create a video and get 600 hours of watch time uh, locally instead of doing an open house for, you know, three hours. I mean, I'd have to do about 250 open houses to get the same amount of impact that I get from creating one video that I, you know, target my local community and average, you know, 300 to 600 hours on every single video of watch time. Now take that and combine it by creating three videos a week mm -hmm. times 365 days a year, how much I'm just getting exposure. And, um, you know, as people, even throughout the nation, as they start to follow me, they'll start noticing me following them on social media. So as soon as you click on one of my ads, you know, if you're in Canada or if you're in, you know, New York, I'm going to start following you wherever you go on social media. Yep. And that's throughout the nation. Well, we teach people how to do that locally. And so it's so much easier to, to, to like really, really get a vast digital imprint locally when you um, when, learn the strategy. And, you know, you can take market share very, very quickly if you're consistent about it and give it the time that it takes for it to, mm -hmm. to mature. You know, many people stop too soon. So they'll do a couple of videos. And first of all, I need to say one more thing is that if you're creating content, which is the best advice I can give you, whether it's attraction-based marketing for EXP or attraction-based marketing for people in your community to be that go-to trusted advisor in real estate. Okay. Consistency is very important and properly distributing the material. If you're mm -hmm. creating videos and putting them on your Facebook page and putting them on your business page and putting them on Instagram, no one is going to see it. For those videos to go viral, less than 0.000001% of videos go viral. People pay to play. They pay to get exposure. And so, and, and, and that's, that's perfectly fine, right? That's why McDonald's and Burger King, that's why they advertise. They advertise because they know it absolutely works. And so why not learn to do that locally and, you know, create that top of mind brand awareness in your local community? Um, for example, you know, if it, I've sold over 2,000, 2,200 homes in my career mm -hmm. and it doesn't make a difference that I'm an expert in real estate if nobody knows about it, right? Yeah. In my community, if nobody knows that I am an expert, it doesn't matter that I am. So mm -hmm. in order for me to be seen as the authority figure, I need to be known. The yep. only way that I can be known is if I'm seen and if I'm heard. How do I get seen and heard by people that are not just my friends and family? I do that by marketing myself on social media channels constantly. Right. Yep. Um, 
And so I always call it the eight C's. You've got to commit to consistently producing content correctly, meaning correctly distributing it and also correctly putting out the right content so that you can make a connection with your community. You'll convert more clients and customers. Uh, And if you do that on a consistent basis, you're going to kill it. That's, that's powerful because I know a lot of people listening here, they're, they're people that are listening going, should I make the move over to eXp? Maybe it's people that follow you. Maybe it's just other icon agents that are trying to get people over to eXp. And a lot of them always have this concern of in a local market that they may be dominating already. They're like, is that market going to follow me and still buy and sell homes with me? And what I'm hearing you say is the way that you do things, those people are going to follow you no matter where you're at, no matter what sign you fly. Is that kind of what I'm hearing based on the methods that you you go through? It's so true. So I think it was NAR and don't quote me, actually, Jesse, my, my, my uh, partner knows the, the, the stat where this comes from, but they took, um, they interviewed, you know, let's just say a thousand people and they asked a thousand brokers, what's the most important thing, you know, that people look at, you know, when, when they're choosing an agent and the broker said it's the real estate company and the thousand sellers, none of them said that, (laughs) like no one cared about the company. And so what I'll tell you is, is that once you have a competitive value add, so for example, people come to me in my local community because they know that I master digital marketing and I make sure that my messaging and my content shows that. So I'll create videos like, Hey, the five things you must do when selling. And it's all about digital marketing. In -hmm. fact, here's a great example. I wrote this book, what to expect when selling your Shadow Lakes and Deer Ridge home. Uh, then I wrote this one, what to expect when selling your home. This one goes to everybody. <laughs> then I wrote the book, what to expect when selling your East County home. Now, all these books are the exact same. I changed the title based on who the, who's getting the book. And the entire book is, is written to discredit the tr- traditional agent. Mm-hmm. Meaning I teach them why you don't just hire a regular agent. You hire a digital marketing specialist, a community yep. market leader is what I call them. Why you hire somebody who specializes in getting your digital footprint of your home you know, out there to the masses. And it's literally, you know, a hundred pages of why you should hire someone that's not doing the traditional things. Right. And then I accompany that from, from videos that support that I, that, that reasoning. Then I target people and I retarget. And then I send them a listing presentation process video that's 17 minutes long that talks all about digital marketing and why you want to hire somebody and the stats behind it that understands digital marketing and how monetarily that affects a seller and their, their return on their investment. And I can just go on and on. Once you start to position yourself as the authority figure in digital marketing and you're doing things that nobody else in your community is doing, people are smart and they want somebody who is digitally savvy, who's not doing what everyone else is, who isn't just doing open houses and, you know, which you can't do anyways now, right? Because of COVID. They want somebody who is innovative. And when you show them that you're innovative, they don't care if you're from Mars, they're going to hire you. You're going to attract a higher price point and you're going to get a higher commission. Like I receive 3% commission over 90% of the time. And in my area, people sell anywhere from two and a half to 4% on average. If they're getting 5%, they're doing really, really well. Well, we take five and a half and, and we, we take three, we give two and a half away on every listing and people, they don't. Um, and again, I understand in a lot of areas, your average commission is six where I am, your average commission is more like four, four and a half. Mm-hmm. So to be getting a five and a half percent commission is like getting a 7% commission in a normal 6% market. And it's because we're different. And I've, I've been with um, Keller Williams and Realty World and Intero and my numbers have never gone down. I went with EXP and within four months I made icon agent you know, within four months of being at EXP. It's from no one cared. No one even noticed. They are interested in my marketing and how I can best service them. And when you're different and unique, Justin, when you stand out, you sell. I love that. I love that. And so has the EXP platform, you know, given you any advantages in being able to promote the virtual technology stance that you're taking with those sellers? Or are you just so focused on what you provide even outside of the system that it hasn't mattered to you yet? So I might be really honest. Like I, I, um, I've used KV core before I even got mm-hmm. in with, and KV core can be very, very difficult for most agents. Of course. Um, it's a great platform. That's what most powerhouse agents will use something like sync or KV core, mm-hmm. but most agents don't know how to use it. So even though they have yep. the technology there, they really needed somebody who knows how to use it. Well, I've mastered how to use the technology. So I have not, we're, we're creating right now a platform that actually combines KV core and, Um, you know, lead pages and a CRM and workflows and action plans. We're creating our own software that we're going to be providing to our downline, our organization, our partners, I should say, right? Um, Because it's just so much easier than that. So I have not Mm -hmm. utilized that. 
Um, but I think it's very important. I mean, yeah. you know, I was paying $700 a month for KV Core, and now you get it for 50 bucks, right? And yeah. I couldn't get out of my contract when I went over to EXP. So it's a great software if you know how to do it, you know mm -hmm. how to use it, but it can be difficult, right? So um, I think any software, any education, any platform is only as good as the user is willing to learn it and as you know, as consistent they're willing to be with it. If you're willing to learn it and take the time, it can make huge, huge strides in your in your business. And you know, everyone should be really looking at technology. How do they incorporate video marketing? Um, you know, I'm still amazed at how many agents I talk to that are just so afraid of doing video. And mm -hmm. they're, you know, they're they're human, right? They're worried about what are people going to think about me? What are they going to say? My nose looks big. I don't like the way I, I look fat. I don't sound good. My hair is frizzy. I mean, I've thought all those things too. <laughs> yep. And my, my question is always the same. Well, do you like money? And, yep. and do you like having more time? Because what you have to understand is when you create video content and people are actually seeing it, right? You know how to get it distributed out there. Your content is selling for you all the time. Now, what do I mean by that? I mean, yep. I can literally, that's why I'm telling you that I can spend 5% of the time on my business and I'm still going to make over a million dollars gross commission this year, you know, gross uh, GCI because, and I'm coaching 95% of the time because my content is selling for me. I am see, being seen over and over again. I'm the McDonald's in my community. And some of you that are listening to this are like, oh my gosh, I've seen Chris's ads, right? So imagine me doing that locally. I mean, it's like I'm everywhere and that's what you want to learn to do. I'm, I'm, I hope I don't sound conceited or, or burgoshous in any way. I'm just so committed and I believe in this so much. I have helped agents brand new agents dominate their market, beat out top producers, you know, over the past two and a half years, we've helped people go from selling two houses a year to selling, you know, 82 in, in 20, you right. know, 28 months and, you know, or from, you know, zero to 24 and 20, we've just got so many success stories because it works. And so I ask people, if you like to make an impact, if you like to help people, if you like money, start properly distributing your content, whether it be to other real estate agents, or to other lenders. And I'm not sure how much time I have, but I can kind of give you some hints about like what yeah, we're doing no. right now with eXp. I know you've got like 20 to 30 minutes. Oh, no, you're good. Let's dive in. Okay. So um, how we're recruiting right now, basically um, building our organization, building mm -hmm. our partnerships is many people are calling people and they, and this is something I just, I didn't learn from the books. It's something that I, I basically teach my own uh, students to do in real estate. And that is we're leading with value first. So basically what I'm teaching my students, uh, my, um, people underneath me to do is, is we're building funnels right now. And they're basically going to be calling an agent and saying, Hey, you know, Justin, it's, it, you know, it's, it's Krista. And I just read this awesome book. And I, you know, I'm just, I, I really respect you. I've watched throughout the years. And like you, for example, you know, you started this conversation, this podcast complimenting me. Right. Mm -hmm. So basically you compliment the other agent and you say, I've read this book and I'd love for you to read it. You know, uh, Krista's, I have a free digital copy that I can give you and a free audio copy. You know, would you like to listen to it? Okay. Awesome. So you give them the book, give them the audio book and there's a great landing page they go to online. They put their email address in there and their phone number in there. And then the agent will call back in two weeks and go, Hey, you know, it's, it's Justin. Did you have a chance to read Krista's book? You know, whether the answer is yes or no, you can say, well, listen, Krista is actually doing a live Q and A. She's actually doing a live training and she said that I can invite you. And so do you want to come? The author of the, who wrote the book is doing, so now what they're doing is they're giving them the gift, calling back in two weeks, and then inviting them to go to a training with me where I give a hundred percent value. It's an hour and a half training of talking about social media and video and giving stats. They truly are learning. And at the end of that, it, at that hour and a half training, then I'm saying, Hey, if you're interested to find out how you can partner with us mm -hmm. and get more of this, you know, join a, join a, join a live Q and A with me tomorrow. So we're doing those every single week. Love that. And um, we're, we're teaching our agents not to have to learn like the EXP model explained or not to have to learn everything. Mm -hmm. I can sell them, right? So yep. get them onto my training. They're going to be like, wow, this is really different. Then get them into the live Q&A and then let me sell them for them. So when you're, if you're with EXP, great. Mm -hmm. Talk to your people that are above you. Ask them, you know, hey, what can we offer value to like kind of use this strategy? Yep. If you're thinking about joining EXP, make sure you don't just join your best friend, right? Yes. Like really 
think about who can offer me the most value, who can help me the most, who can support me, who can teach me things that I need to learn, who can, who can I utilize to help build my organization based upon who's above me? Mm -hmm. That's who you choose to, to partner with. I mean, how many times have you went, been in a business because it was your best friend and it's like the worst thing you've ever done, right? Absolutely. Think about who is this person that can really, really add as, as much value to your business and to you as possible. And yeah. that's who you choose to partner with. No, I love that. It's, it's choosing basically your business partners that you don't have to pay any money to. I know. I know. Oh, it's, like, I know. It's, it's the like, best partnership ever. There's people above me that would never probably talk to me and they would cause they're nice people, but like they would have never worked intimately one-on-one -on -one in my business with me if I wouldn't have partnered with them. So it was like basically inserting myself into someone else's business on my own choice. Mm -hmm. which, was so, which was so cool. And so for those that are listening, um, I would love for you to talk because there might be some people listening here that don't know much about eXp at all and might really jive with your style, your, your energy, and they might want to partner with you and they could be in Alaska or, you know, all <laughs> over the place. Do you currently, are you bringing people into your eXp organization across the States? And if so, how can they get a hold of you and learn a little bit more about what you're building within eXp for them to also align with you? Yeah. So, um, well, there's two things. One, if you just kind of want to learn more about um, what it is that we teach, you can go to the million dollar model. That's the million dollar model.com. So the million dollar all spilled out model.com. And we do, there's a training that you can watch. And then what happens after the training is we have people go to um, partner or no, it's join, join Krista M. So it's join Krista M.com join kristam.com and it will walk you through um you know getting on a live q a with us so that you can decide whether or not we are a great fit we have ways actually that we're giving away our twenty two thousand five hundred dollar coaching program for free for people that join exp underneath our my umbrella um and literally they're getting the mastery level coaching program where we give them a full-blown business in a box they get coaching with me twice a week they get um, mastery summits they i mean i can go on and on about what they receive eight digital marketing funnels. Like the total value is about $133,000 worth of stuff for free um, just by joining underneath uh, my umbrella. And then we're going to teach them how to sell real estate, like in, unlike anyone else. And then also how to attract business and to build their downline. Um, so they're just, again, the million dollar model is a training. So the million dollar model.com and then uh, join Krista M like Mary for Krista Mayshore. So join Krista M.com and you can, you know, kind of get more information about, Hey, would Krista be a good fit for us? Uh, we do have a no asshole policy. So if you are an asshole, do not apply because we <laughs> only want it. great people that love people and that are willing to, you know, learn. And we have a really, really strong about our culture. Um, but we have a great set of people, you know, underneath us. And again, you can talk about partnering with, with us. And just getting more more one on one support and help by being in the organization, or obviously getting the free coaching. Um, and there's obviously some stipulations that apply yep. to that. But regardless, like we'd love to have you if if I you want to be had. I love that. So they can get that, or they could join Ricky or Sue that hasn't sold any homes yet that told them that EXP was the best model ever. So they kind of have some choices to go with here. I know, I know. And, and I mean, I love Ricky and Sue, but again, <laughs> uh, you know, I you know I have been uh, people, I have been being. Um, People have been trying to get me to join the XP for a very, very long time. Yeah. Um, I had somebody fly out like five, six years ago, and I just wasn't ready for it. Mm -hmm. The business partners that I chose um, have been coming after me and talking to me for over a year, yeah. and I've had multiple groups of people. I chose people that I knew were going to be able to assist my growth and development that were better at things that I wasn't. And I got to tell you that people that are my partners who will also be the people underneath me as partners mm -hmm are amazing they've sold thousands and thousands of homes they've built organizations they they have you know um they they have skill sets that range from um working with reos and short sales and foreclosures like getting that market to uh, myself to digital marketing so it's, it's just it's you know so so nice we're creating systems and platforms to really make everything very very easy and quite frankly i do believe that we're going to create something that nobody else ever has yet in exp and we'll be one of the fastest growing companies that they're going to see in the next 24 months i love that and kind of something off topic here on that same line like i don't know if i've told you this i think i told zach this um, one of your assistants and team members is actually our entire platform for my virtual assistant company is based on your teachings so we actually wrote a book and we will probably do a half million dollars this year just on that book being Woo! In the video and so i just share that to go what she teaches works you, you didn't know who i was before today's call but it was actually your book strategy that we promoted where our videos just running 24 7 following people around forever and ever and ever and That's so I, can, great. I can sit on a call like this with you 
and know that business is coming in. Something else I wanted to talk about that you hit on earlier, kind of a few segments back, is you talked about people having a fear of being on video. I had the same fear and what I found, and it was actually something you taught is, if someone doesn't like my nose, they don't like the way my hair is, well, at least they're not gonna call me and we're never gonna have to cross that bridge, right? A lot of times I'd go into a listing appointment and people would be like, man, he's so young. And then, then, then I get rejected. Well, at least on when we turned into video, they already knew what they were getting walking in the door. And yes. so I absolutely love that part of your strategy. I never walked into rejection. It was more of them. They already knew all the, you know, the pros and the cons of what I had to offer based on a video that we shot one time. Yeah, you attract the, the people that want to work with you and you detract the ones that don't. So the good thing is, is that you're attracting the right people. Same for me. I mean, people are going to love me or they hate me. I've got way too much energy for some people. I am maybe way too confident for some people. And maybe some people are like, I like her. You know, she's kind of crazy. And then, you know, so it, it works out really, really well. So I want you to say that I need to get that on video, Justin, like reading Krishna's book. I want to get that on video. So as soon as we're done, you're going to do a testimonial for me. I can do that. that. And I'm going to use that as one of my ads. I can do that. Absolutely. And that one ad that you'll make, you can run for two years and never have to touch it again. Yes. It's just going to bring in money for you. I love absolutely. it. Absolutely. I love absolutely. it. I love it. I love it. Well, from my point of view, I just wanted to say thank you so much for being on here. I know before we go, though, I want to talk about the challenge that you got going on. So even if people are listening and they're not, they're already aligned at eXp, maybe they're already joining underneath someone else you still have coaching programs to my knowledge that they can take advantage of no matter their position or even if they're not at exp right now so i'd Absolutely. love for you to kind of tell us a little bit about that yeah so if you go to um com slash challenge and that's k-r-i-s-t-a may sure m as in mary a s h o r e dot com slash challenge we do a seven day free challenge where we coach you you get coaching live from me we give you strategies to do every single day. And then um, we also, for EXP members, have a 10% off, off, um, off of our uh, coaching programs. Wow. And we coach people all the time. So if, you're, if you want to join EXP, you can get the you know, free coaching um, and all the strategies. You can still pay me to coach you, you know, just without joining EXP. Or you can already be with EXP and get a discount. So, but we do have the free challenge, kristamaysure.com slash challenge. And I promise you'll get a lot out of it. The average person picks up two new clients, two new closings. Um, the most people have ever done is eight. The average is two. A lot of people get zero because they don't <laughs> do the work. We just had a, a girl named Valencia literally last week send me an awesome boxer saying, I just got six clients in 30 days all from your challenge so um we go we teach things like utilizing video and utilizing social media and getting you know getting rid of some of your mental barriers and blocks to help you progress to the next level so whoever you are well we'll, i'd love to have you in that it really really does work and we've seen some great success I love it. Well, for you guys that are listening and you're watching live or watching on any of our platforms in the description, we'll have all the links that she mentioned throughout the podcast today. So Krista, I just wanted to say, I really appreciate you. I know you're busy and you've got plenty of people to be coaching throughout today. So I want to let you go, but I really appreciate your time and bring in some great value to our audience here. Uh, thanks for having me and congratulations, Justin, on actually implementing the strategies and making over 500 Gs. That's awesome. Absolutely. I appreciate it. As always, guys, signing off from the Icon Podcast. Until the next episode, we'll see you then. Bye.